Hi, how you doing? Justin here today. We're going to be talking about vibrato. It's a very, very common question. This one I see questions about it all the time on the forums and in private lessons. A lot of people don't really understand how to do a vibrato, what the different types are. So uh, there's three types. The one that we're looking at today I call hand vibrato, and it's the most common type of vibrato that you'll ever find, and it's definitely the one that I would recommend that you get to grips with first. The other types are classical vibrato, where you tend to move your hand like left to right, side to side which is less useful on electric guitar. It's possible to use it, but it's not really what you uh, want to be checking out, I think, uh, for electric guitar. And the other one I, I call whole arm vibrato, which is the type of vibrato a few guys use, like Eric Clapton and John Mayer. It's not the most common in, in blues and rock, but it's, a, it's still definitely worth checking out. So we're going to do that in a separate lesson. Um, now, the idea of vibrato, of course, is to make your guitar sound a little bit more vocal. It's really, really important that you get to grips with the idea of that note moving moving up and down in pitch. If you just play the note and you stay on it, it tends to sound a little bit flat, especially if singers do that without vibrato, it sounds really wonky. So it's really important to realize that you've got to get the, the note and then you want to be changing the pitch up and down a little bit. Now on guitar, we can make it go up and down with a whammy bar, but because of the way the instrument is designed, we tend to just move the note up. Now before I talk about that anymore, let's get to a close up and check out the actual technique that you're going to need to use. So I want you to start by putting your third finger in the seventh fret of the third string. Get the other two fingers behind it, just on the sixth and fifth fret, or if they bunch up a little bit, it doesn't really matter. And make sure that your thumb is over the top of the guitar. Now you can do it without the thumb over the top later on, but it's a lot easier to start with the thumb over. Now, if we just remove our fingers a little bit, I want you to see that the first finger is in contact with the neck. Because when we've got our fingers down, actually the vibrato pivot point is this. It's actually our hand that's moving. Okay, so when we're playing a note, you'll see there that it's actually this motion, it's the hand. I'm exaggerating it now so you can see. Okay, it's not this. If you try and do it with just your fingers by pulling your fingers in like that, you end up with this kind of quite odd vibrato and usually you'll bend it out of tune as well because it's really important that it comes back to the note that we call the fundamental which is the first note. So thumb over the top, third finger on the seventh fret of the third string, play the note and then just pull it down a bit and then relax it again. And again, play. See if you can get into a little pattern of doing that. Okay, that's how you want to practice the technique. It's just pulling it up. Now what I tend to think about is when I'm putting the string back up, instead of just going to the spot I'm looking for, I tend to try and think of it going a little bit up as well. So I'm pulling it down, and when it's going back, I'm trying to think of it going slightly up. But if you imagine where the string is, that's pulling the string down, that's pushing it up, okay? So even though we're mostly concentrating on pulling the string down, I want to really make sure that I come back to exactly that note. Because if you do the vibrato like this, now the note that we hear as being in tune is not in tune. That's the note that's in tune. So we have to make sure that we keep coming back to that note. Just pulling it down. See if we can get that going nice and smoothly. Like I said, I'm thinking about pushing it up a little bit, but it's definitely more of a down thing. Like it's definitely moving further down. It's important to realize here that there's two things that we've got to play with. The depth, which is how far we're bending it, okay? So you could have a really wide vibrato like that, which is a little bit exaggerated. Okay, or it could be quite subtle. Where it's hardly moving at all, just a little bit. Okay, and then of course we've got speed, so the wide one slowly will sound really weird. Okay, the, the little one slowly will sound nice. Okay, so we've got those two different things. It, normally the wide one would be quite fast. 
Otherwise, it just sounds kind of wrong. So you want to experiment a little bit with all of those different things. So just putting the finger on, see if you can get a nice small vibrato where it's not moving much. Making sure again you're coming back to the note as if it's not being push, pushed or pulled at all. Then maybe try and make it a little bit bigger. And then back. Okay, try it with different fingers. The first finger is a good one as well. Because then you can really feel that, the kind of the pulling there. You can really see, while I've got my first finger straight, bend it in, and then by moving my hand, you can see that it's making that motion. So then put it down. Get used to what it feels like. Little, little motions, big ones. An experience, get a feeling. How does it make you feel when you're doing that nice little subtle vibrato? Okay, try it on some other parts of the neck. Little vibrato, quite wide vibrato. Now one thing that you're gonna find straight away on the first string, you can't pull it down. So you have to, you have to be thinking now pushing it up. Okay, so instead of the, all of that feeling that you had before pulling down, it's the same thing. It's still the hand moving, just a bit more subtle. Try to rock all over the neck with all the different fingers. I don't tend to use my little finger much for vibrato, to tell the truth, but you probably should be able to do it. Okay, just going through for a, a bunch of time, we're sometimes working on a real slow, nice vibrato, like you might play in a ballad. Just thinking about something really beautiful and soft, and make the notes sound really nice and vocal and singing. Other times you might want to be doing something more aggressive and more fast and crazy. <laughs> that one's going right out of tune because I'm going too crazy. But experiment and see because there are t there's a time and a place for every different type of vibrato and you want to learn how to make the guitar sound how you imagine. One last little tip for you before you start your practice, and that will be to emulate the vibrato that you really like. So a lot of the guitar players, Angus Young springs to mind, very, very distinctive type of vibrato. And if you really like that style of vibrato, something that you want to think about is really trying to copy his vibrato. So maybe learn one of his licks that's got vibrato in it, and then sit and try and make your playing sound exactly like his. Try and copy it, listen to it closely. Is it very wide? Is it very fast? Or is it very narrow? Is it slow? What, you know, really try and pick up on what it is that he's doing and then try and make your guitar sound like that. It's going to take you some practice, but it's totally worth it. Even if you don't end up using his style of vibrato all the time, the fact that you've learned how to copy it will mean that you're better able to express yourself through the instrument. You know, B.B. King, another guy who's got a very, very distinctive vibrato, and it's something, you've, it's, it's really, really important to try and emulate the stuff that you really like, the things that really connect with you on a, on a kind of a spiritual level. That's the stuff that you really want to copy, and you want to try and really make, incorporate those things into your playing, because they obviously resonate with you in a, in a kind of a deep way. So try and copy the things that really move you, the stuff that you really, really like. So I uh, hope that helps you get your vibrato on track, and I'll see you for plenty more lessons very soon. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.